Are you looking for ways to improve how you visualize comparisons between two or three measures in Tableau? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you four quick and easy charts that will help you transform this table into these charts. Let's get started. Welcome, my name is Andy. And if this is your very first time visiting this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the content that I create for you. On this channel, I share everything I know about Tableau because I wanna help you become great. Let's talk about performance comparisons. By performance, I mean showing how we're currently doing versus another measure like the prior year or a goal or a budget. Making these comparisons can be tricky. However, I have four designs that you can apply to make any comparison look better and easier to understand. This workbook has all of the calculations we need and I'll link to it below in the description so that you can download them. I'll cover them briefly, but I'm not gonna type each one of them out because we wanna focus on the design of these charts. And after we're done, we're gonna have a glossary of four charts like this. Let's get started with chart number one, a grouped bar chart. Let me show you the measures that I created. The first one is for our current year sales. This is simply saying, look at the date for every row in the data set. Compare that to the maximum date in the entire data set. If those are equal, then bring back the sales. So for example, if I bring date into the view and I bring in sales current year onto a table, you see I only see the values for the current year. Prior year sales is very similar, except we just subtract one from the maximum date. If we drag that into the view as well, we now see the sales for the prior year. For the budget current year, it's gonna be very similar. We're looking at the year of each row in the data set, comparing that to the maximum year. And if that's true, we're gonna bring back the budget for the current year. Let's drag that onto the view as well. And now we can see we have the budget for the current year. If I remove the year field from the rows, I can now see them all in one row, which means I can make comparisons. So let's draw that grouped bar chart. Let's say that we wanna compare regions. I'm gonna drag region to the rows sales current year to the columns, and I have a bar chart. But I wanna have two more bars to make it a grouped bar chart. To do that, I'm gonna drag sales prior year on top of the axis for our sales current year to give me a combined axis view. And now you can see we have two rows, one for the sales current year, one for the sales prior year, and then we have the measure value shelf that has two values on it. To bring in the budget for the current year, I'm gonna drag that onto the measure value shelf and I'm gonna stick it between the sales current year and the sales prior year. And now we have three bars. I'm gonna drag measure names to the color so they each have a different color to make them a bit easier to understand. So now in the East region, we can compare sales current year to the budget for the current year and to the sales for the prior year. So our current year sales is exceeding our budget, but it's behind our prior year sales. So that looks much better. What's the next thing we could do? Let's look at creating a bullet graph of sorts. A bullet graph contains a measure represented as a bar. For us, that'll be our current year sales, and then a reference line with a comparison measure. Except we're gonna design our bullet graph with two reference lines, one for the sales prior year, and one for the budget current year. Traditionally, a bullet graph has some shading in the background as well to show you progress at 50%, 75%, 100% of the goal, but we're not gonna use those so we can keep the view nice and clean. So let's build this. Let's drag the product type to the rows, the sales for the current year to the columns for our bar chart. I'm gonna make the rows a bit bigger so we can see what it's doing. I'm gonna drag my measure names to the color shelf to color my bars the same as they were in the previous chart. I'm gonna drag sales prior year to the detail shelf and budget current year to the detail shelf. Now that those are on the detail shelf, I can add them as reference lines. Let's go to our analytics pane, drag on a reference line for each cell, and in my value, I'm gonna pick budget current year. Let's maybe make the color orange to match our previous sheet and click OK. So now we can see the sales for the current year for each product type compares to the budget for the current year for each product type. But we wanna also include a comparison to the prior year sales. So let's drag on another reference line. In the analytics pane, drag on a reference line to each cell. This time the value we're gonna pick is sales prior year. Let's click on the line to color it. Let's make it gray to match the color we used in the previous view. Click on okay. And now we have our bullet graph that shows us the sales for the current year compared to two different metrics. So far we've covered grouped bar charts and a bullet graph. It's time for chart number three, the dumbbell chart. This type of dot plot allows us to see the range of the values. Let's start by dragging region onto the rows. 
Let's drag sales current year onto the columns. Sales prior year on top of the axis to give us a combined axis view. And then let's drag budget current year onto the measure value shelf. We need to change the mark type to a circle. Move our measure names field from the rows to the color. And now we have a dot for each of our measures. But we want to connect those dots. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the command key on my Mac, control key on a PC to duplicate the measure values field. We now have multiple marks cards. On the second marks card, I'm going to change my mark type from a circle to a line. And I'm going to move measure names from the color to the path. And now you can see over here on the right hand side that we have a line connecting the beginning to the end. Let's make that a dual axis chart. I'm going to right click on the axis and choose dual axis. Right click on the axis again and choose synchronize axis. Right click on the bottom axis again and let's move those circles to the front. Now to show the range a bit better and because this is a dot plot, I'm not going to include zero on the axis. Let's right click on our axis and choose edit axis. We want to uncheck the include zero option. Close this view, and now we can see we have our dot plot that shows the range between budget in the current year, sales in the current year, and sales in the prior year. For example, we can see in the east region that sales for the current year exceeds budget for the current year, but it is behind sales for the prior year. It's time to wrap up with chart number four, bands, or big actual numbers. Bands are used to emphasize a single data point but I don't think they're particularly useful without a bit of context. So we're gonna create the ban and we're gonna include a percent change between the budget and the prior year sales. Let's look at those calculations. If I look at my variance to budget percentage, we're taking the sales for the current year, subtracting the sales for the budget for the current year, and then dividing that value by the budget for the current year. My variance to prior year percentage is similar. Looking at the sales for the current year, subtracting the sales for the prior year, and then dividing that value by the sales for the prior year. Go to a new sheet. We're going to drag sales for the current year onto the text shelf. And we can see we have 799,519 in sales in the current year. But we want to include those percentage comparisons. So I'm going to select both the variance to budget percentage and the variance to prior percentage by holding my command key down or control if you're on a PC and I'm gonna drag those to the text shelf as well. And now we can see we have three values. All we have to do here is a bit of formatting. Let's click on the text shelf, click on the three dots. Let's move the sales current year to be the first value. And then we have our variance to budget value. So I'm gonna type here versus budget. For our variance to prior year, I'm gonna type in verse sales prior year. Let's go ahead and center all of those. And in the sales current year, I want this to be nice and big. So let's maybe make it, I don't know, let's say 48 point font. And again, I'm gonna match the colors. So I'm gonna change the color for my sales current year to be the blue. I'm gonna make my variance to budget the red and the variance to prior year gray. Let's click on okay. Let's change the alignment to be centered. And now you can see we have our big actual number with two pieces of context to make it a bit easier to understand for the audience. So after going through four charts, we went from a table that looks like this to four charts that look like this. Of course, there are more charts we could build. However, these four charts will make the data much easier to understand much more quickly. Let me know in the comments below if there's other chart types that you like to use to make comparisons between multiple measures. If you want to look at more topics, please check out this playlist and this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.